Who, who, what's up, everybody? What up, what up, what up, what up? Ah, oh, man, things is going crazy. A lot of things is going crazy in the world. Uh, I'm a little late on my stream, so what up, JJ? Highly appreciate it. Kind of late. I'm really late today for my stream, guys. It says 10.30. Usually, you know, I start at 10.30. But my stream started at, uh, started today at 11. No background on the good stuff. So, my vlog. Man, I missed my vlog yesterday. I'm pretty pissed off at myself. Really ticked off. But, uh, this vlog... I don't even know what number it is. This vlog is going to be on some good shit because I'm out here trying to get ready for streaming and all that shit, guys. So, I'm really, really geeked about this shit. I need to upload my videos. I need to stop fucking around. Get that shit done. Ain't nothing problem. I started getting lazy again. So, one thing I'm really geeked about. Black people always like it. <laughs> You're a fool, Damien. Yeah, guys, you know how I, I do my vlogs and stuff, stream. Uh, I've just been looking at video games lately, and I'm looking at a lot of my old games, and uh, this shit, I hate when my shit is like this, and it's like this. And I just read where I should start buying cheap Sega Saturn and Sega CD game cases. You know, the shit that you find online and shit. Or go to a game store and buy these shit for for my uh, collection. Because, say, buy the used sports ones for every and everything. So, get hype about that shit, you know? So, yeah, I know what it is, man. I just, just really hyped. So far, I'm in Chrono Trigger right now. For those that don't know, I'm loving every second of it. Everybody knows I play... If you don't know, this is my favorite game of all time. It's the greatest game of all time. I fucks with Chrono Trigger. If there was a top 10... If I had a top 10 list, Chrono Trigger is number 1. And uh, Dragon Lair is number 2. But then after that, from the bottom on, that's, that shit switched out. So... So this shit is how it is. It just... Chrono Trigger has everything. This was the first, okay, this is what made Chrono Trigger for me the greatest game of all time. I remember reading in Nintendo Magazine, Nintendo Power, and I was so geeked about it because it was like, yo, you know, uh, there was RPG games, and I tried to play them when I was younger, and I couldn't really play them. I didn't really understand that shit. So what made Chrono Trigger something special to me was my uncle went out and rent the game we went to we rented the game from video land or video island whatever it's called it was video island or video land at the time because video land was later after but it was originally called video island we went to go rent it uh we rent the game and i didn't understand like i'm playing it on my granny's new tv she got this big ass new 32 inch tv you know shit was dope it had picture in the picture and all that shit. And I was all geeked about it. And, uh, you know, I'm trying to play it. And then, I just, and like, I started playing it. And the game was getting, like, my uncle was watching it. And we was really into it. And I'm like, yo, this is pretty dope. And he was like, yo, why aren't you fighting? And I was like, yo, you got to wait to do this move before you can do a move. And this was, like, the first RPG game where I was old enough to understand what the fuck was going on. Like, I started understanding the game, you know, the RPG mechanics, like, like, at the time, it was turn-based, they called, you know, traditional RPGs, not in the, at the time, RPGs was just, you waited for a bar, and then you attack, if you didn't wait for the bar, you didn't do nothing, you know, you just ran up and attacked the person, but, uh, on this game, the RPG, you know, you have the bar, and you do the attacks, and I didn't know about wait and act, if I didn't really read, I just, a, 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 and then I got into it, and I thought it was pretty awesome, and back then, you only rent the game for three days, and then after, they, after the three days, you take it back, I was really into the game, and then my uncle came back, 
he came back through with the man I mean the Nintendo Power uh guide and I'm mad that I did not bring that back home, bring this here from Indiana, you know. When I moved back up here. But uh that's here to say whatnot, you know. Then you know that you know how that shit goes, Reverend, you know. Anything can happen. So Unc was talking to me and all that shit, you know. And uh it was like, yo, this and this and that and then my uh my unk, Uncle Robert, that's who rent the game. I call him Uncle Ra-Ra, or Unk. You know, just as it is. And uh, he he was breaking this shit down, you know. He's like, yo, he's reading the body. He's like, yo, you got to do this and this and that. And mind you, first day, we played, I played it for a few hours. And my granny's like, yo, cut the TV on. And I, I cut, like, she's like, I want to watch my programs. Cut that game off. What well, I did, I put that shit on picture on the picture. So there's a little screen on the bottom of the TV. And Greg was like, yo, man, get this shit off my TV. I don't want that. I, I can't see my program in that bottom of the screen. So I used the remote control and moved this, the picture going up to the top of the screen, the upper corner. like So it was like this in the screen. Play a girl the trigger. So it was, it was starting off like this. And then she was like, get it off. I don't want to see that in the bottom of my screen. So I just moved it up like, Psh. And then she was so bad, and she laughed. She's like, boy, you can play that game. So I'm playing it. And then, like, uncom he went to work, and he came home. And he's like, you still playing it? Like, yeah, it's pretty dope. I like it. So I'm geeked about the game. So, foo. Uh, and I'm really into that shit. And I thought it was, like, one of the dopest games. And then after that, uh, after we already passed the point, you know, but the trial – like, you get arrested on a trial. And my uncle was like, yo, wait a minute. You're, you're arrested? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I got to go to court? And I'm like, yo. And the whole court thing blew my mind away. And I was like, yo, this game, I went, to, I went to trial for kidnapping. And this is a video game. This is dope. So I was really into it, you know. And then, uh. And then it was time to take the game back. You know, I just got done. And he was like, Uncle was like, nah, you're going to rent the game for three more days because it's summertime. Three more days. You got to beat it in three days. And I was at the point where I was able to fight Lavos right now. There was a time I could fight Lavos, but I, I couldn't beat him. I stopped doing, uh, I didn't do the Black Omen. I finish at a major scene in the game where uh, uh, later on that game, like there's a big scene with Robo. I got to that point, and that was it. that's when we had to take it back because he was going to work. And I was like, three more days, three more days. And he was like, yo. He was like, I would, but video games rental back then was ridiculous. For a Super Nintendo game. And then he's like, yo. And then we find out KB Toy Stores was closing. KB Toy Stores was closing down. And my uncle was like, yo. Everything's on sale and all that shit. And we was all geeked. And I was like, yo. We waited for the store to close. And every day we went into the KB Toy Store. KB Toy Store. Some of y'all don't know about KB Toy Store. But KB Toy Store was the was my uh, was was equivalent to Toys R Us. To me, in, in back in my day, uh, back in my day, but we because we didn't have a Toys R Us in my city, we had to go to Indianapolis for Toys R Us. But uh, uh, we waited every single day until the store closed down for Chrono Trigger to go down in price. And mind you, this this is like 1995 because the Super Nintendo. I mean the uh, the PlayStation was a release. What was the PlayStation 2? Yeah, PlayStation 2 was on a verge of coming out. Yep, PlayStation 2 was on a verge of coming out. And Chrono Trigger was there. And the store was up to 50, half off on everything because the whole thing was done. And Chrono Trigger, mind you this day, Chrono Trigger was a $70 video game. Seventy dollars, 
This is a console game, a cartridge game. You buy play Nintendo's, I mean Xbox One, PS4, and uh, Wii U games as are fifty nine ninety nine, and people making the minimum wage is seven twenty five. Seven twenty five today. Chrono Trigger was seven sixty nine ninety nine seventy dollars, and minimum wage at the time was five fifteen. Come on, five fifteen not five fifteen an hour, in the video game was seventy dollars. Think of that shit. Think of that. Five dollars an hour. Times that shit by twenty hours for a hundred dollars. A hundred fucking dollars. I had to work twenty hours just to to buy the game. That's because of the taxes. It's crazy. But uh, how I got Chrono Trigger, this copy of Chrono Trigger, is is a big shout out. To my man Sydney Lawson and Drew Lynn. I used me, Sydney, and Drew used to work in a video game store. Drew was the manager of the store called uh, Game Exchange. And I worked at Walmart at the time. And I went in there, you know, I used Unc Car, you know, I drove his car. I was like, and I had my Delta 88. And, uh, it had a radiator problem, and I used my uh, uncle's car to go to the store to go wash some clothes. And during the time I used my, I drove my, car, I drove the car to uh, to the store or to the video game shop. And I didn't even know to the laundromat to buy the video game shop. And I didn't even know because we went out. I drove all the way to the other side of town because the dryers was a lot better, and it was like it was it was easy. It was easy, you know, wash for like. Uh, for the same price, for almost the same price of there, but their dryers, like, you can dry your clothes in, like, 30 minutes. That's how great the dryer was. So, I was saving money on the washing and drying, but it all equaled out because of the trip. But, went into the, uh, went, walked down the street to go to, uh, I think I was going down the street, I forgot what I go to the street. I don't know, went down the street to Video Land, the video game shop. And, uh, you know, the rental place. And Drew seen me. And Drew copped out the store and said, Hey, Calvin, what are you doing? And I was like, yo, what? And he said, yo, Captain, what are you doing? I was like, ain't nothing, Reverend. You know, just going to start. He's like, yo, we about to hire. He said, come and work with me. I said, I work at Walmart. I work third shift. I make decent money. At the time, it was decent money. It's good money. And he was like, nah, work with me. I put you on. You good. You know your video game knowledge. Your video game knowledge is... It's crazy. You you have like mad knowledge, mad and you, know, you could talk to anybody about gaming and all that. And, you know, you got great customer service. And I'm like, all right, Pat. You know, he's like, fill in the application and then uh, and we're just gonna start hiring in a few days. And he tells me this. And uh I was like, All right And he gave me an application and I went home. And I went and got my clothes and went home. I went by there like a two, three weeks later. He was like, "What the? F- was a where's your application? When you put your application in?" I'm like, "What? Like, I told you we're about to start. We're hiring right now, and I wanted to hire you." I said, "So if I put the application in, I'm gonna get hired." He's like, "Yo, on the spot." So I put the application. Two days later, the owner called me. So let's do a quick interview with Drew, and he was like, "Yo." He was like, yo, uh, this and this and that. He was te- they test my game knowledge. And he was like, yo, you're on top of the world with the game knowledge. And he was like, yeah, all right. You got great charisma. And they say it's going to be a conflict of interest because your job and your department you worked at. 
I'm like, oh, okay, cool, you know. He was like, well, say there's a girl that works there that comes in all the time. We don't want you to get in trouble with her and all that shit. And I was like, it's all good, you know, woo-woo this, woo-woo that. And uh, we'll just figure something out. So, you know, and, and if it ever come to that day, we'll, come and, you know, we'll figure something out. Well, it, long run came to that day, and I ended up like... No call, no show, and I moved up to Michigan because I didn't want to lose either job. So I, if I'm gonna lose one or another, I just moved up here. But uh, that has nothing to do with this story. Uh, I started working in the game store, and he was like, and he asked me, and Drew asked me, what's my favorite le- game? And the and uh, and uh, what's his name? In the interview, and I told him Chrono Trigger, and they told me, and I told him Chrono Trigger is the greatest game of all time. He's like, what about Street Fighter? I was like, yo, I love Street Fighter. What about uh, Mario? It's like Mario's awesome. What about Legend of Zelda? Great series. What's your favorite series? Uh, Shining Force. At the time, it was Shining Force. Uh, it still is Shining Force. The beginning of Shining Force, not the later Shining Force. But Chrono Trigger's the greatest game. You know, I was like, yo, you got everything in. You got love, passion, anger, heartbreaks, people fighting for each other. All this type of stuff happening, and Chrono Trigger is right in the center of everything. It has everything you want. Great story. So, you know, I got hired, you know, start working, and I asked the owner, what's the chances of Chrono Trigger coming in here? How much it costs? And he told me, he said, yo, it's a hard game, and we don't come buy it all the time. And it's usually $45. Mind you, this is 2000 and Eight, 2008. And I'm working with, you know, like we get Sid. Sid comes in working, you know, Sid, Sidney start working with this. And uh, Sidney was talking about, we, we talking, we're, we're, you know, we're working and everything. We're talking about Chrono Trigger and all that stuff. And he's like, yo, I heard they got Chrono Trigger in the Lafayette store. I said, uh-uh. He's like, yo, I thought I heard him talk. I picked up the phone. And I looked on the database, and it said it was in the Lafayette store. I'm like, for real? And uh, what he did, he was like, yo, he calls the Lafayette store. Yo, you got Chrono Trigger there? And I was like, yeah. And the owner worked in, uh, and the, owner worked in uh, the store, in the Lafayette store. So uh, Sid just goes up to Drew and says, yo, Drew, get Chrono Trigger for a chance. And I like, he's like, all right. And I was like, and you know, that's what he told that's what he said. That's what he tells me, like a few days later. And then I was like, for real, Reverend? Yeah, whatever, you know. They just mess with me. And then like a few days, I go to work at Walmart, and I had a few days off. And I go to the store, and next thing you know, Drew's like, yo, you know, guess what game we got in? And I was like, yo, got Chrono Trigger. And I'm like, man, it's a pretty awesome game and all that. And I'm like, yo, it's Chrono Trigger. And he was like, yo, man, they got like three characters. As you play as, I was like, Chrono Trigger. And then he said something major, a major scene that happened. I was like, dog, it's Chrono Trigger. And he, was like, and he grabs the Super Nintendo copy, and he throws it at me, and I caught it. And I was like, yo, Chrono Trigger. And I looked on the back of it, and it was fifty nine ninety five. And I was like, yo. He's like, man. He's like, we got Chrono Trigger in. Because I pulled some strings for you. We got it in a few days ago. Knew you was working. And I'm like, oh, man, that's the love, bro. He's like, you can't buy it until you get off of work. And I'm like, all right. And I'm like, cool, cool. So, you know, I do my thing and all that shit, you know, working. And we work with this white dude. He was like, he's like terrified of black people. He wasn't scared of me. He wasn't scared. Nobody was scared of me. And nobody was really scared of me because cause I mean it with everybody. I try to break, make money and break bread with everybody. But... So, I'm, like, grabbing, like, you know, I'm working and everything. And then, like, we live, you know, it was, like, a, was it Applebee's? Yeah, Applebee's. It was Applebee's across the street. And I was hungry as hell. And my co-worker at the time, I said, yo, you want to go get, uh, like, these black guys coming. And he was, like, he, whenever somebody black came in, he always hid in the back. He went in the back. The place, and I was like, "Can we get some Applebee's?" And he was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." I was like, "Yo, just get some." You know, I was like, "Give me uh, a steak 
Give me the steak. Well done. Oh man, give me a steak. Yeah, well done. With the scrimps and the mushroom saute and the provolone cheese on there. He's like, but what about my break and everything? He's like, yo, I was eating something. I was like, yo, get whatever you want and I'll pay for it. Because, you know, I was blowing, I was blowing through money like nothing. And like, Chrono Trigger's still in the store. You know, you know, hung up with the, you know, I knew who those folks was and everything. You know, we jaw jacked and shit while he dipped. They left. And like, after they leave, you know, the store's quiet and everything. You know, I'm putting up games. He comes back and says, yo, man, why you order your steak? Like, that? it takes up for a long, so long for your steak. To get made, you know, because of that. And it's like, you know, that's how I eat my steaks. I don't eat them like that no more. But uh, but at the time, he come back, and then, like, you know, I'm about to put my stuff, you know, go eat some food. And then I went in the back, you know, went to go in the back. He's like, yo, I gotta, he's like, I gotta go take a shit. I'm like, all right, whatever. And I'm eating my food, and the phone rings. And the next thing you know, I go pick up the phone, and like, you know, game exchange, this is... The reverend, you know, how may I help you? And he was like, the guy on the other end was like, hey, do you have Chrono Trigger? And I was like, no, thanks for calling, and hung up. Grabbed Chrono Trigger from the side of the bitch, told old dude to get out the fucking bathroom, ring me up right now. <laughs> and that's how I got Chrono Trigger for the Super Nintendo. This beauty of a video game right here. This beauty right here. That beauty right there. That's how I got Chrono Trigger. Just like that. <laughs> Don't mind the candy. It's in the bag. Trash. But that's how I got Chrono Trigger, guys. Just like that. That shit, that, that shit mad bogus as hell. But that's how the fuck I got Chrono Trigger for the Super Nintendo. So, all you guys that haven't or don't know what's going on, your boy Chauncey is about to play this Chrono Trigger. And let's get this shit started, guys. Let's get it started. So, for those that don't know, please go to the Twitch channel, link above, that's in the description, to watch my playthrough of Chrono Trigger. And I do appreciate every fucking thing y'all do for joining me for my vlogs. For my playthroughs, giveaways about to happen again. I'm bringing one giveaway up real soon, so please, guys, please, please, please come through and enjoy that shit, man. Thank you, guys. Thank you for being there. And uh, y'all know right now I'm gonna play this famous. Uh... <laughs> so I'm about to go and uh. Start streaming Chrono Trigger right now on the Twitch channel. So y'all yeah, know what it is. It's your boy Chauncey True Challenge. Player number one, number two. You pick a side you want to lose. And I'm out. Where's my theme music out? Fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm -mm. Fuck this shit, I'm out. No thanks. Don't mind me. I'ma just grab my stuff and leave. Excuse me, please. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Nope. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Alright then. I don't know what the fuck just happened, but I don't really care. I'ma get the fuck up out of here. Fuck this shit, I'm out.